Okay, good morning. Welcome to Math for Kids number 154. Math for Kids number 154. So the last couple of videos we've made, Math for Kids number 153, 152, 150, and 149, we're calculating the speed of planets. We found that Mercury was going 108,000 miles per hour, Mars was going 53,000 miles per hour, Jupiter was going 29,000 miles per hour, and the Earth was going 67,000 miles per hour. The next thing we were going to calculate was how fast the sun was going around the center of the galaxy, right? Yeah. Now that is going to be really cool to do. By the way, do you think the sun's moving faster around the center of the galaxy, or do you think the planets are moving faster? The planets. Do you think the planets are moving faster around the sun? Well, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow. That'll be math because number 155. But in order to talk about this, we have to talk about the speed of light. Okay? Now, light goes pretty fast, right? Yeah. 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 Because, like, when I turn the lights off, boom, it's dark. When I turn them on, boom, <laughs> it's light again. Just like that. Okay? Do you know how fast light moves? I mean, you, see, you, you actually seem to know. 86,000 miles per hour. 186,000. What? Miles per second. Miles per second. Okay. 186,000 miles per second, not miles per hour, which is also 300,000 meters per second. Or we sometimes write this as 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Have you ever seen this written this way before? 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second? Yeah. Okay, that's called scientific notation. We haven't actually talked about that, but it's not too hard to understand. It just means, with scientific notation, it means people don't like writing out all these zeros. So they just say 3 times 10 to the 8th. So for example, what would this number be in scientific notation? It would be 4 times 10 squared. Right, 4 times 10 squared. There's not a lot of zeros. Right, that, most people would write 400 instead of 4 times 10 squared, but for 3 times 10 to the 8th. Now, do you want to calculate, I should, uh, miles, second. Do you want to calculate this in, in, well, actually, you know what, we did all the planets in miles per hour, so we may as well do the speed of light in, in miles per hour, too. Okay? Yeah. So let's work with 186,000 miles per second, but that's fast, right? Yeah. Do you know how far it is around the Earth, all, all the way around the Earth at the equator? I think I, I should have looked this up. It's about 24,000 miles. Okay. So, what is that? About 8 times 160 plus 32? Yeah, it's rough about 8 times. So, this, the, in one second, light would go around the Earth 8 times. That's how fast light moves. <laughs> okay. But... An important concept, if we're going to talk about the galaxy, is something called a light year. And do you know how... Now, this is interesting because years are usually measures of what? Time. Time. A light year is a measure of distance. Light year is a measure of distance, okay? And it's, what do you think a light year is? What distance do you think a light year is? It's probably how far light travels in a year. How far light travels in one year? Which is like 5.88 trillion miles. <laughs> how do you know all this stuff? <laughs> I read all the space books. You read all the space books, okay. Well, I, I don't know why I bother looking anything up before these movies. How far light travels in a year? Okay, so let's see. We know we know it goes 186,000 miles per second. How do we go from miles per second to miles per year? Well, what we have to do is we got to get how fast how, how how far can travel in a day. Okay, great. So how do we get from seconds to days? We have to multiply by 60 to get to min. Okay. 60 seconds per minute times what? 60 minutes in 
60 hour. minute per hour times times 24 hours per day. 24 hours per day. Well, and then how do we get to a year? Times 365 days. 365 days per year. Okay, notice the days cancel, the minutes cancel, the hours cancel, the seconds cancel, and we're left with miles per year. And we have to compute 186,000 times 60 times 60 times 24 times 365. Whoa! <laughs> well, we could just we could just put the zeros on. Okay, yeah, that, that's actually a very, very good idea. Let's take all the zeros and pull them out. So that's one, two, three, four, five zeros, which is going to be, what number has five zeros? So, 100,000. Right, so this, is, this equals, so that's, a, that's a great idea, 100,000 times 186 times 6 times 6 times 24 times 365. Okay. What's easy to multiply here? Well, we can do 6 times 6. Okay, what is 6 times 6? 36. 36, okay. Poof. Sorry, not, not necessarily good to erase on the board and rewrite things, but I don't have a lot of room. 36, okay. What's next? What else is easy to do here? Well... How about 36 times 24? Yeah, 36 times 24 would just be... 24. 24. Six, six. Okay, 6 times 4 is 24. 4 times 30 is 120. 120. 20 times 60 is, is, one, is 120. Also 120. And then 20 times 30 is 20 times 30 is 600. Okay, so what does this add up to? It's 864. 864. Okay, so that's 36 times 24. So I'll erase that. 864. Now we have to multiply 186 times 864 times 365. Whoa! Okay, now since we don't need to know the exact answer down to the penny, Let's, just approximate let's, uh, let's do some approximating and let's round to the nearest 50s and then we'll do the multiplication, okay? So if I round 186 to the nearest 50, what's that going to be? It would just be 200. Okay, so this is going to this is going to look a lot like 100,000 times 200 times it's 850. 850 times times 350. 350. Okay, we're making our life we're just trying to make our life easier here. Now we can get out some more zeros. All right, now we get rid of some more zeros. So we get one, two, three, four more zeros. So we get 100,000 plus four more zeros. Okay. What number is that, it's by the way? Billion. Times two, times 85, times 35. Okay. What do you want to multiply first here? Let's multiply. 2 times 35. 2 times 35, 70. which is 70. What do you want to do now? 85 times 70. No. How about zero goes over to zero land oh, here? Yeah. When we pull out this zero, what, what happens to this billion? 10 billion. It becomes 10 billion. So 85 times 7. So we made our life a lot easier. 85 times 7 is what? Is 35 plus. Five six, which is five ninety five, and we'll call that about what? Six hundred. About six hundred. Okay. So we get two more zeros. So this is a hundred billion. Wait, wait, wait. Two. So I got it. Let me just add. Trillion. Let me put a six on the front and two zeros on the back. And now let's erase the commas. Six now, what did you think the speed of light was in miles five, per? It's all, it's almost like five point eight eight. Okay, trillion. Yeah, five point eight eight. Okay, and the actual so we got six trillion, and the actual number you're telling me is five point eight eight trillion. Yeah, 
lot of people approximate it to six trillion. A lot of people do? Yeah. How do you know that? You, a lot of your a lot of people you talk to? Yeah, all my space books, most of them say that. Most of the space books say six trillion? Okay, that's pretty cool. My my best space books say that. Oh, okay. Well that this is pretty neat. Now, how far is five point eight eight trillion miles? Pretty far. Pretty pretty far. Pretty far. Do you remember how far away the Earth was from the Sun? It was ninety three million. Okay. So the Earth to the Sun ninety three million. So that's to make an, that number simple. What could we round that up to? A uh, hundred, hundred. A hundred million, which I'll write down here. Okay, so it's sixty thousand times ten, twenty, thirty. Sorry, <laughs> ten. 100, 1,000, 10,000 times 6. 60,000 times farther than the Earth is from the Sun. Whoa. 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 Now, so that's how far light goes in a year. That, I just want to show you. This is, how, this is the number for how far away the Earth is from the Sun, approximately. And this is how far light travels in a year. 60,000 times farther. Do you know how long it takes the light to go from the Sun to the Earth? Eight minutes. About eight minutes, yeah. Okay, so... That's, I wanted to go through all this just to show you how far light travels in a year. Now, I don't know why I say do you know, because I'm sure you do. What, what is the closest star to Earth? Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri. And do you know how far away that is? It's, four, it's a four and a fourth. So the closest star to the sun is a star called Proxima Centauri. Can you point to where Proxima Centauri is right now? It's in the constellation of Centaurus. Where's that? Just point. <laughs> Somewhere. Oh, somewhere over there. Okay. <laughs> so 4.25 light years. So even as far away as light travels in a year, it takes, it, it takes light four and a quarter years to get from that star to where we are right now. Isn't that incredible? That's Shit. how far away the nearest star is. Whoa. Okay, so tomorrow we'll talk about how, what the speed of the sun going around the center of the galaxy is. Because the center of the galaxy, oh, am I going to stump you on this one? Do you know how far away the center of the galaxy is? Is like 33, is it 633 million light years. Hmm, I'm it? not sure. I think that's it. Is it? Okay, well we'll see. We'll okay. see tomorrow. Okay, yeah, check in your book. Okay. Very good. Good job today, honey.